grew up without a father and claim you don't want the same for your daughter, Alea. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you've asked the court to DNA test two men who may be her biological father. And, Mr. Ball, you're one of the two men we've tested and state you do not believe you fathered the child because of Miss Petty's promiscuous past. Yes, Your Honor. Now, waiting outside of the courtroom is the second potential father, Mr. Daniel, the plaintiff's boyfriend, who says he dreams he's Alea's father and has nightmares he's not. So, Mr. Ball, please tell the court, why do you have doubt? So, the reason I doubt her is because she was sleeping around with me and Peter at the same time. The only reason I started messing around with her was to get my son. You have an older child together, so you were messing around with her to get him. The way you gotta get it, I mean, the way you could get your kid is if you, uh, all she want is to be, so you gotta sleep with her. You know, all you gotta do First is sleep around with her. And First of all, wait a minute. Okay. First so, of all, so, I would like to say, he came to me and yeah. was like, I still love you, Ania. So, he, he, um, he's a follower. He don't want to step up and speak for himself. But is it true that after you broke up, you had the older child, you all were still sleeping together? Because yes. that's why we're here today, yes. right? So, Mr. Yes, Ball, John. please, I'm waiting to hear these doubts. Miss Petty told me she was on birth control. I, I tried to stop messing with her, but every time I stopped messing with her, she would go ahead and bring, like, like, well, you can't see your son and all this. You ain't gonna be able to... He, I don't want him to come and over there because And when you refer to unsafe. Peter, that's Mr. Daniel. Yes, Mr. Daniel, my bad. Your contention is that he never really got over you and still kept coming yeah, around. That's that but you have to tell this court. You do admit that you also were having sex with Mr. Yes, Daniel. Was. Yes, I she was. was. Now, and you have... I have proof why... I, another reason why I don't believe that she's mine is because who, who last name is on the birth certificate? Mr. Daniels, if you want to see that. I, I got would like proof. to see it. Jerome, please like, hand me Mr. that Daniel's evidence. Name, he, she got Mr. Daniels' last name. If it was my baby, she would have had her with my last name, like we did with our son. I told Mr. Ball first that I was pregnant before I even told Mr. Daniel. He told me, because he was in a relationship, he didn't want to ruin his happy home, that he didn't want nothing to do with my daughter. He told, I told me her, I told to her, just I would, me and I told Peter her. to keep it on the low, and he raised both of my kids. No, I didn't say nothing he like did. that. So, Miss Petty, I see here on the birth certificate, you did, in fact, Gave give her Alea Mr. Daniel's last name. Yes. Did you yes. think Mr. Daniel would just be a better father or you just felt like he was your only option? He, he asked me to give my daughter his last name because he knew no. all the lies stuff I was no, telling me. No, because they were standing together for two years. They were standing together for two years. About how he didn't want to take her. And they were sleeping and he with each other unprotected. Be... All right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. I want to look at this young lady because I feel like I'm watching a tennis match. My neck's just going back and forth and back and forth, and you right here in the middle. And I need to know from you how you got here. I grew up without a father. Oh, my God, there's no excuse. How did you arrive in this place where you have a child you don't know who the father is? For the second time. Did I ask for background singers? No. Okay, then I need you to be quiet. <laughs> Miss Petty? When I first met Mr. Ball, I fell in love with him. We, he told me about some stuff he was going through, and he knew what I was going through. And everything was fine, and then he left. And while I was pregnant with my son, I went through kids making fun of me about it. <sighs> you can talk. Talk to me. I want to understand One of his ex-girlfriends went to school with me. <laughs> And girls were trying to gang up on me while I'm five, six months pregnant. What? <laughs> I didn't want to go to school. He made me go to school because, I mean, I need my education. And I look up to him like, I see that he could be a good man, a good father, and I was happy, like, I could finally have a family that I never grew up with. But, Miss Petty, I, I need you to understand this, too. And look, your pain, I completely understand where you're coming from. But you have to understand that your actions are not breaking the cycle, it's perpetuating it. Because you were also having sex with Mr. Daniel at the same time you were having sex with Mr. Ball. So if we're being completely honest in this court, which is all we're gonna be, mm -hmm. their doubts are real. Yeah. And they're valid. Right? Yes. What I need to understand from you, Ms. Petty, is if you really felt like one man was your child's father, why is it that you give her another man's name 
Exactly. You didn't want her to. Why you didn't give her your last name? If Let that was her the case. speak. And I'm asking I'm the questions. Sorry. Miss Petty? I ain't Tell me what you're feeling. I'm feeling like, regardless of the results, he don't care no way. He don't want to be around for her. He didn't even give her the chance, like, to get to know him. He avoided child support. He, evol he avoided Yo, no, uh -uh. Child support DNA for she's speaking for my daughter. We, at, in St. Louis, I told him, you know what, I don't want to keep running around and all this action is, can you just please take the DNA test? But, okay, you understand he does have doubt for a pretty good reason because yes. you're admitting that I you slept that. with Mr. Daniel during the same time. Yes, I give him that reason, but for him to avoid the DNA testing make me feel like he already knows How and he I? don't oh, want the truth. Wait, so fun. what you felt like is he's been avoiding taking a DNA test because in his gut he believes. No, yes, no. he came and by he's and trying to and avoid his responsibility. Said, well, she do got my smile. No, she do look like me, Your but Honor. she too light skinned to be my daughter. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So during the window of conception, about how often were you sleeping with each man? Um, I would have sex with them on the same day. I was afraid I was gonna hear that. All she was trying to do was break a relationship. She was just trying to break up my relationship. How with... am I breaking up his relationship? Because every time, any time, any time, okay, I so call Mr. You, say, come over and have sex. You call me, I'm coming to get my son. But you know what? I got and, a little time to spend. And every time, she didn't I get my car. son? Then I get my son. So we can have sex. The bottom line is, is you're not going to be avoiding this DNA test any further. This is where the buck stops. And here we go. The thing about, I wouldn't even avoid it. If it, the case is, how come Mr. Daniel couldn't take the DNA test right then and there? Wait Why a minute. You, you said... And this is said, classic. That, you said you weren't avoiding the DNA test. Did you hear this, Jerome? He's not avoiding it, but why can't Mr. Daniel take it right no, then because and there? Why he's can't there. you take he it? The, like, if he feel like he's the father, he been there the whole time. I'm, all I'm doing is taking care of my son and my daughter. Well, That's what I've been doing. The good if he don't news have is Mr. Daniel don't you've have both to do. taken the test yes, now. now. Yes, so now. So I'm ready to hear from Mr. Daniel. Jerome, but will you escort him they, in, please? All this time, they wasted avoiding it. They could have been and took it. They could have been right, and did this. Just take it, just to get over with. Because if he would have took it first, you'd be like, how I know I wasn't the only man she was sleeping with besides him? You go up to witness Anything, he should have took it. Huh? And you can't... Welcome, Mr. Daniel. Thank you for joining us today. How you doing? Miss Petty has openly admitted in court today that she was having a sexual relationship with Mr. Ball, also with you. But you two were in a relationship, right? Yes, ma'am. You obviously have doubt. But how did that doubt come about? We were at the hospital, and there was a situation where I looked at her and figured out that she has a little possibility to look like AJ, which is her son. And I basically was like, okay, well, it's just... Well, that could just be because she's both of their mother. Yes. Okay. That's why I say, okay, never mind. It so you erase that out of your yes. mind. You're at the hospital, and you're having this moment, and the baby's here, and everyone's happy, but as you're holding the baby you believe is yours, yes. that has your last name, something inside of you is feeling like there could be a resemblance to this older sibling. Yes. Which may or may not be because it's Miss Petty. You're feeling like it could be because it's Mr. Ball's child. Yes, Your Honor. So, the bottom line is, up until this point, until the baby was born, did you know that she had been having a sexual relationship with Mr. Ball as well? She told me before because of the situation be when we got together. Okay. So she told me that it was a one time but where they But through the entire pregnancy, you were there. Every You time. were there at the birth. Yes. You cut the umbilical cord? Yes. I stayed up all night holding her. When she went, I gave her rest, so I ended up holding her. I ended up falling asleep with her, and I held her while she was asleep. And I'm sure, you know, you can't help but fall in love with a little baby after holding her and yeah. being there for her. And also the fact that you gave her your last name. Yes. Why is that? I love kids. I'm, I'm a family person. And from my history, I've been a foster, ki foster child since I was four. So you were breaking cycles of your own. Yes. And yet you still stepped in. Yes, Your Honor. That's commendable. <laughs> Ms. Petty, what's going on here? It sounds like you are caught between two men. I am feeling like I'm stuck between the two. 
when me and Mr. Daniel got together, I cut ties off with him. I stopped messing with him. But then I found out he was keeping things from me too. And all these lies and different people coming to me like, he playing you. The bottom line is you're in a relationship with this man and you love his level of responsibility as it relates to your children. And yet in the relationship, there's been issues that have come up which make you doubt him. Yeah. So you, and <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like it is, you use that as an excuse to continue to sleep with the man you really wanna be with. Now tell me I'm wrong. You're not wrong. So when's the last time you and Mr. Ball had a sexual relationship? Last week. It was not last week. It was not last week. Your Honor, it, the last time we had a sexual relationship is when she said they broke up. Mr. Daniel, I see you, you stomping your foot. Is that anger, frustration? What do you feel? She didn't say anything like that. During this time, have you suspected that they were still together? Sometimes I have my doubts, like, okay, they're not together, and then they are together. Because she has multiple phones, so it'll be text messages, emails that she phone. made because they have sexual names for themselves. <laughs> and she made an email for him. Talk about oh, himself. both of you all smiling when he said it, so nope. it must be true. Nope. And I she, looked at the... <laughs> she, 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 remember she said, she, remember she said, I always come to her asking, no, she'll text me telling them, what's up with Snakey and stuff like that. That is actually that. correct. That is actually correct. Never. She can't, I looked at oh, her... Oh, hold on, hold on. Mr. Daniel is validating Mr. Ball's I testimony. I looked at her phone the other day, her email. It said basically what he just said. It's back and forth. If she's not writing him, he's writing her. So it's not. have you ever out. caught them together in person? Yes. Or is this, this is a sexting, texting thing? Matter of fact. Oh, yes, you said. Did you find evidence that yes. they were together? I came home and I see his car outside. So I walk around to the window. I look in there and all of a sudden I'm looking around to see what's going on. I see her hand, he's laying down. Her hands is in his boxes. What? Okay, I can see the truth is from the look on your face that you all had another sexual encounter that day. I wasn't even trying to that day. But Not he about I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I worked me. all night. I worked all night. I wasn't even trying to. He's and then she like, she all, no, she all like, we got time. Though, Mr. Peter gone. Mr. He Ball, mad. stop talking. Mr. Yeah. Ball, stop talking line. and listen. Don't tell me what you were trying to do. I want to know what you did. Did you have sex with Miss Petty on that day when Mr. Daniel saw you through the window? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. We have a young, beautiful baby here in this present moment that deserves to know who her father is, right? <laughs> so, what are your hopes today? Is there one man in particular you hope is her father? Either way it goes, I just want them to be a father. Mr. Ball, what are your hopes? If she's not mine, I'm, I'm happy for Mr. Daniel. But if she is mine, I just want to say I want custody of both of my children. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a better parent than both of them. Because he I, a better parent than both of yes. us. Well, my son was Wait. in a hospital oh my in an ER. I said, can my you son please is three years old come and he's not potty trained. see what's wrong with... Let's calm down. I want to understand from Mr. Daniel, what your hope is for this baby? Do you hope I will that love you are all right? I will love because of the fact that I fell in love with his child and he's not doing nothing for her, for him, neither one. To be honest, I want custody of both of them. Jerome, I'm one, ready for results. I'm not even 100%. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Petty versus Ball, Daniel, as it pertains to 11-month-old Alea, and whether Mr. Ball or Mr. Daniel is the biological father. In the case of Petty versus Ball, Daniel, as it pertains to 11-month-old Alea, and whether Mr. Ball or Mr. Daniel 
is the biological father? Mr. Ball. You are her father. That's a first, Jerome. Absolute silence. He do not deserve to be the father. Honestly. Oh my God. He don't. He's sentimental, boy. He hasn't bought diapers since me and Annette met, which is 2012. I pay child support. That has nothing to do with being a father. Or hmm. being there. It doesn't. The great news is you both have the right intention. And Miss Petty, you have got to figure out how to move forward for your children. If you love him and you using him, leave him alone. Cause that's not right. <laughs> Do you understand me? And I'ma take it one step further for you, okay? If you love him and he doesn't do right by you, leave him alone. Are we clear? I wish you all the best of luck. Court is adjourned. Ms. Rogers, you open your case to prove your son Michael, who tragically died one year ago, did not father the defendant's daughter, Renaya. You are here to fulfill Michael's dying wish of getting a DNA test to learn the truth. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Green, you state you and Michael were in a loving relationship and he never doubted paternity. You say today's DNA results will silence the doubt and you demand an apology for Renaya. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Rogers, why are you convinced that your son is not Renaya's father? Because he was convinced that he was not Renaya's father. Um, before he passed away, um, he said he wanted a DNA test. We talked about it and everything. And he, it was directed to Brittany that he wanted a DNA test. And he has another daughter, Byer, but they look absolutely nothing alike. And um, Brittany cheated on him. Oh. Okay, so those were some very strong accusations and very specific testimony, Ms. Green. Um, Ms. Rogers says you cheated on uh, her son and he is the one that said he wanted to have a DNA test. Um, I cheated because her son cheated first. And once he started doing a whole bunch of stuff out in my apartment complex, that's why I put him out. So you're admitting that you cheated? Yeah. And that's exactly why paternity issues arise. Yeah. So now, I want to go back to the nature of your relationship. How did you all meet? You say you were in a loving relationship. Tell me about the relationship. How long were you together? Where'd you meet? We met at his sister's house, but I ain't gonna say no loving relationship, but we had an understanding relationship. Oh, now that's two different things. Yeah. So, you, you, that, that's what they call in this courtroom a situationship. Was it that kind of thing? <laughs> well, well, yeah. Okay, so were you all boyfriend and girlfriend or were you all just dating and sleeping together consistently? I will put it like that. Dating and sleeping together consistently. consistently yeah. For how long? For a few years. Oh, so for a few years. All right, so you weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. No, I don't, I wouldn't call it that, but Michael, like, he sometimes he just be wanting a break. Like, want to get away from me. So I, I understand and that. And why do I see tears in your eyes right now? What are huh? you feeling? Why do I see, like, tears? What are you because feeling? Because I don't really like talking about my baby dad. Like, it just be too much, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I gotta... <sighs> uh. Just take a minute, honey, and come on back to testify. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. Stay right here. Just take a moment, Brittany. Because I want to understand your side. Come on back over to the podium. I'm trying to talk, but I can't be, you know. No, I do understand. You all have been through a lot. And regardless, I know that this has been difficult, not just for you, Mom, but for you as well. So that's why when you say, I, I don't know how to really say it, I want to give you time to collect your thoughts and I want you to be able to think about what you feel. So, Ms. Green, you say in this relationship you kept 
taking these breaks on and off, on and off, yeah. but you'd come back together. At one point, you did end up cheating on Michael. After I had Janae, yeah. So, Ms. Rogers, what did he tell you about Ms. Green cheating? He called me and said, Mom, Mom, can you come pick me up? I just got off from work. I got off a little early, and when I walked in, um, I walked in on Brittany giving somebody... <laughs> so I got up and I came and picked him up. Now, that's a lie because now, my baby daddy ain't never in his life cut me giving nobody. And that's all my kids, because when I cheated, I was not in Michigan, not even getting Kalamazoo. Now I'm getting Ms. mad. Green. I'm trying to be calm, but this stuff's making me mad now because I don't cheat with my kids, none of that. None of that. I don't do that, because I'm not that type of mom. I would never be that type of mom. So... Flat out. Hold on, Miss Green. So, I want to understand, this particular scenario that Miss Rogers described is not true. No, because she only get her, her son's side. That, she never got my side. That, right. So, now I want to go to the next scenario. I want to understand, when you went to go pick him up, wow, where was wow. he? In the house? No, he was walking. Um, normally, when I come pick him up, um, he Sometimes couldn't even he walk in, in my house because he didn't have a key to my house. He was, um, he was walking um, down the driveway. Okay, so he was walking down what, the driveway. What, what apartment? You picked is this? him up, yeah. and he said, he said that, um, you know, he, that he caught her, that he caught her, basically. Well, Miss Green, take me to the day you found out you were pregnant. Did you tell Michael? Did you say, hey, I'm pregnant. We're having another baby. No, I just told... I, I didn't tell nobody. You he didn't. didn't even, he didn't even know mm. that I was pregnant until I got the throwing up a lot. Okay, so you kept it. You knew you were pregnant, but you kept it a secret. Yeah. And why did you do that? Because I didn't... I because didn't... she had cheated on him and she didn't... No. Know he let, let her... No, let... no, that ain't why. I don't want no extra, extra problems. I, I like not my baby with me all the time. I don't care about my baby being around or even knowing her, her daddy, her people, none of that. When you did tell Michael, I'm pregnant, or he found out because you were, you were nauseous, how did he react? Was he happy? No, nah, he was just normal. Just normal. Normal when I told him I was pregnant with Janae. But he didn't want me to tell nobody I was pregnant with Janae because um, he didn't want his family jumping down um, his throat about me being pregnant by him. When you was pregnant with Janae, Michael told us, when you got pregnant with Renaya, Michael hid no. it because he Big know girl told that... you on Facebook when me and Michael had got, got into it after, in front of her. She... Michael had already told me that you was but pregnant. But you just said that you didn't feel... When, when, we, when we all was there, you said, I don't appreciate me finding out that she pregnant, so when I buy a baby a gift, I'm gonna send it over Facebook. That's what you said. So, hold on. It's obvious to me that you all were not close. You didn't really have a great relationship. But what I want to understand is, when you found out about the baby, why is it you doubted that the child was your son's? I mean, they do have another child together. Mm -hmm. Why would you then say about this child, well, I don't think this is my son's biological child? What made you doubt? I have 15 grandchildren. Wow. She don't look like she... All of my grandchildren have big hands, big feet. It's just what, what they have. And I don't... I didn't have that connection with her. All of my grandkids, we ha have a certain connection. She... Her and Janae look total opposite, and which is possible, but the fact that she cheated, I don't think so. And then, like, it... God, she there was really never... To me... Personally, because no matter what my son did, how hard he tried, Brittany t really broke him down a lot. She would, your you son, know, call him... Okay, but don't... He's just she talking would call like him your son a saint, and, though. I'm not saying my son he's is he's a not. Saint. He wasn't I'm not a saying saint. my son was a saint, but he, he did wasn't. a lot for you that the average person And I wouldn't. did a lot for him, like, as, as an average woman would. He hadn't even pa been passed away two weeks and you was already pregnant by somebody else. Sure was. <laughs> and... That's, that's my life. It's not none of yours. I'm not gonna be sitting down, sitting, moping around and sad all the time yeah, for what? Yeah, that's because you didn't, never loved him. Yeah, I did love your son. It, it was just a different type of love. Oh, okay. I want to get to the fact that this is an innocent child whose father may have passed away. Ms. Green, you have admitted, I did cheat. I cheated because we were all in this on and off again relationship. He kept sleeping with other people. So, like you say, he started it, so I'm gonna finish it. 
And you know now, as a young woman, how that leads you to this circumstance. We right. talk about it all the time in the courtroom. I tell young women all the time, and older women, look, we do... You can't go tit for tat with a man in this department because we end up with the baby. Then we had a baby. And no matter what he did, he could have been with another woman every other day of the week. But as soon as we get pregnant, all eyes on us and all eyes on our baby. And it is mama's baby and papa's maybe. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get paternity doubt. And that's how we end up in this courtroom. I need to understand, Ms. Rogers, take me to the day when your son said to you, Mama, I, I need a DNA test. When did he say that? Probably about a week or two before he passed away. He, um, we were, you know, me and my son talked a lot and um, he was just like, I'm not really sure. And was, he was like, because she was lighter um, and he was just describing everything, talking about everything that he was going through. And he, he talked to her about the DNA test also and they agreed upon it. So I thought, but... <laughs> He's not here no more, so let's just... And I told him not to sign the birth certificate, and he did it anyways. So he signed the birth certificate, Miss. On Green. his own will. I told him out of my own mouth, Michael, don't sign this birth certificate, because we still need to get that DNA. So wouldn't that put doubt in your head? If she I him, told him that, that at the so hospital hold on. after I had my child. After I had her... I told him so not to sign So you're saying it. in the hospital after you had Renaya, Don't sign this You birth were honest. Don't sign this birth yeah, certificate. Yeah, I told him the truth. Why not? Until we know for sure. Right. And he knowingly and willingly acknowledged paternity and signed that birth certificate in the hospital. Right. Did you and Michael have an honest conversation about, I know we have this one baby and I know everything's fine, but I really believe we need to get the paternity settled on this one did right. you all have that honest conversation? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay, so see, this is why when we calm down and we take some testimony and we understand, we realize sometimes that we come into this courtroom on polar opposite sides of the aisle. You saying there's complete doubt and you saying, Ms. Green, it really ain't nothing to doubt. But the truth is, Somewhere in between there, we're realizing that there was very real discussion about DNA testing. Mm -hmm. It just unfortunately never happened because he passed away. Mm -hmm. That you had had that conversation as a couple. Yeah. Or as friends or as, as two people in a sexual relationship. And mom, that he was being honest with you when he said, I want to get the DNA test. And maybe what he didn't say is that me and Brittany talked about it. He did. He did tell me that they discussed it, but he did. Yeah, but I, you know, I thought they were, you know, just gonna take the test or whatever. But it's it's just bottom line: is it his baby or not? I, you know, I still deal with her. But if it's my grandbaby, I wanna. But see, I don't want I don't want nobody dealing with my baby exactly. because I don't want to be in a position as a mother. I got I cringed when she said that. You know, I'm gonna deal with her. No, don't deal with my baby. <laughs> right. I don't need nobody to deal with my baby. Right. You either love him, especially the grandmother. I want all the grandmother love for exactly. my baby. Exactly, and that's how and that's you want to be for able to give other that baby. I get her all the time. I love her with all my heart. That girl is my shadow. And if this is my grandbaby, she's going to be that second shadow. But you feel but like you I, can't commit I, I can't. because you don't know. I cannot. And, and of course, my son is not here no more. If that baby is his daughter, then of course I'm going to be happy, but I want to know for sure. So even with this doubt, I see the tears and I see you... This is emotional for you. Even with the doubt, the doubt you have had consistently for almost two years, you're still somewhere in your heart hoping that this is... I don't have my son no more. If I got to deal with Britney forever... Well, you're going to have to anyways. I don't care. If you don't I'll take that, but I need to know for sure if that's his daughter or not. That's all. You know, ladies, I think I've heard enough testimony. It's time for the results. Jerome? <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. 
because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased Michael Rogers, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Ms. Vernice Rogers. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Renaya Rogers, and Vernice Rogers. In the case of Rogers versus Green, when it comes to 20-month-old Renaya Rogers, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Vernice Rogers and Renaya Rogers is 99.97% you are related. Man, I, I told you that he was. Thank you. Well, I do apologize to you, Brittany, and I can be her grandma now, with no question. This has been hard. It has been hard. It has been an emotional roller coaster, and I'm so happy that we're able to get the answers, not just that you need it, but Renaya needed. Right. <laughs> I'm going to ask you this. 